Hello, today we are assembling the DDP-155 pan kit. For this project you will need a screwdriver and a hex head driver. First step, you grab the ABS plate that has two large holes in it, quarter inch precision flange ball bearing, four 440 by 3 8 inch flat head machine screws, and four 3 quarter inch round standoffs. You'll first press the ball bearing into the textured side of the plate and then attach the standoffs to the smooth side of the plate using the screws. For this project we're using the Futaba S3152 servo, a 2.6 by 30 millimeter servo screw, a servo shaft horn, and four 440 by one quarter inch truss head screws. First, press the shaft horn onto the output shaft of the servo and secure that in place using the servo screws, and then attach the servo to the back side of the plate we just put together using the four truss head screws. Next, grab the cylindrical ABS tube and six one half inch Phillips head screws. Feed the servo wire through the second hole in the ABS plate and then fasten the plate to the top of the tube using your screws. Next you'll need the aluminum clamping hub, the 632 by one half inch socket head screw, and four 632 by one half inch Phillips head screws, and the ABS plate that has a single large hole in it. You'll first feed the socket screw into your clamping hub and lock that in place using your hex head driver and then you'll attach the clamping hub to the back side of the ABS plate using the four Phillips head screws. When you finish that you can slide that over the top of the shaft horn and tighten it in place using a hex head driver. For the final step you'll need the bottom ABS plate and six one half inch Phillips head flat screws. Attach the plate with the textured side facing up to the bottom of the ABS tube. With that in place the DDP-155 is now ready for use. Feel free to leave any comments or questions you have about this project. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest videos and as always thank you for watching.